tomorrow, Stephen Piercy at the Rainbow 50th Anniversary Bash, and today, Universal Studios Hollywood. First one's here. First one's here. And at the end of the day, when everyone's rushing to get out, the first one's here. Uh, frozen butter beer. Have you seen frozen butter beer? I've tried every version of butter beer. I've had hot butter beer, uh, regular butter beer, which is cold. I don't know, my glasses always look <laughs> crooked like that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, this is frozen butter beer. Watch this. I like it. What do you think? You've had them. This will be your first time with the frozen. Like regular nice. butter beer, they okay. Yeah. 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 Nobody here, look at that. Look at your ice cream. You come to a hog's made. You gotta have butterbeer ice cream. You wouldn't even know if there's somebody else right there who could have helped me, but that's alright. We made it this far. Look at that. That looks like a butterbeer ice cream. Oh, look at that. A spoon conveniently open. <laughs> Don't uh, feed the birds or other wings.
So here we are back on the road with Stephen Piercy, another uh, tour diary. This was a, a, a quick trip. We're gonna come out to Hollywood for the Rainbow 50th Anniversary Bash. Just a one show. Most of the guys live here in California. Me and Stephen live in Las Vegas. So Stephen came up early to take care of some business. I think they had a rehearsal. I came up one day early to take care of some things uh, for myself which would be uh, fun things, try to make a vacation out of it. And speaking of vacation, I needed a hotel to, uh, to stay at for the first night. Now, the second night, I'll stay at a hotel that's closer to uh, the Rainbow. But I said, you know what? I gotta find a hotel. And I said, let me find a hotel in Norwalk, California. Now, what is the significance of this very hotel? Well, right behind me, literally right here, literally where I'm sitting, is the spot in the movie National and Goon's Vacation where Chevy Chase and Christy Brinkley uh, go skinny dipping. I have always wanted to see this. I had to make my pilgrimage to see this moose. Uh, I've always wanted to see this spot. This is a hotel called the Hotel Saddleback. Uh, for a long time, it was called the Guest House. I had no idea how convenient it was if you were in Norwalk. Just two miles down the road is the golf and stuff from the Karate Kids. A lot of 80s movie history here. But anyway, so if you were paying attention to vacation, Chevy Chase and Christopher Brinkley enter this way, they come up here. This is where the dialogue takes place. This is where he gives his famous credo, um, if he had a credo, you don't have to have a credo, but uh, go for it. And she jumps in the pool and asks him why you're gonna go for it. And of course, right here, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, right here. I'm in deep, I'm in deep. Anyway, all those amazing lines, all those amazing memories, literally in the spot that I'm sitting, right now it's crazy to believe that 40 years ago that was happening right here and if you look up right here that means you if you look up you see where the neighbors uh, were all disturbed their guests and the family and of course you see now some sudong you had to put that sign right in the spot so that you know um, that no matter what clark griswold tells you it says this on their website that uh, despite what clark may tell you you have to wear a bathing suit. What a reason to pick a hotel. But this is where I'm staying because I want to recreate that history uh, right here in this, uh, at this famous hotel. We're going to look at that pool. And after that, I'm going to go just two miles down the road to a place called Golf and Stuff, made famous in the Karate Kid movie. Now, uh, and then I'm also going to stop by in Downey and I'm going to visit uh, the world's oldest McDonald's and McDonald's Museum. Tomorrow, Stephen uh, Piercy at the Rainbow. Had a long day, bands all day, got some work to do, and, uh, and so we get to that. It's well. crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm in deep. I'm in deep. I think I'm going to go for it. Well, if you're here at the Saddleback Hotel, there's a cat right there. That cat's going to go for it. Uh, that, cl that cat should be named Clark Griswold. Anyway, upstairs, Rustin, Audrey, and uh, Helen come out of the, their rooms because of the disturbance of Clark in the pool with uh, the, the swimming waitress, obviously. And all of that takes place right here. When this movie was filmed, that uh, hot tub was not there. The hot tub is an addition from later on. But the spot where Chevy Chase goes into the water to join Christy Brinkley, and they both go into the water. It's right there, right at the point there. The measurements of the pool have changed a little bit. You will see people come out on the downstairs and upstairs, and it looks exactly um, the same. It's been painted. But they are proud of their history in the cinema. And right, got the poster. This movie. It's filmed here in 1982. The movie was released in 1983, but filmed in 1982. It's a little hard to see with these lights. But uh, some great photos. And actually, this photo here, you can see that it is at the corner. And right here, you can really see uh, exactly where that is. So, here is a view, if you were in your room, 
and you heard noise of a man screaming how cold it was in the pool. It would be from one of these uh, rooms. Based on our forensics, you've got the two panels of wood here, and then you have this one over here with this design, which would show that that famous talk happened right here. So I got a hotel where they filmed National Lampoon's Vacation, and it just happens two miles down the road is golf and stuff from the movie The Karate Kid. I am on the ultimate 80s vacation. Chevy Chase, Ralph Macchio, what a great, it's a dream come true. It used to be where the golf and stuff sign was seen in The Karate Kid. The sign is now here uh, on the ground. Something happened. The sign's changed a little bit, but not much. Look how old these games are. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these, maybe that one right there, is the actual uh, game that they play. It wouldn't be golf and stuff without a part of it. Carpet doesn't look like it's changed very much. All right, so if you're at golf and stuff and you're looking for the water slide, it no longer exists. It's been replaced by power lines. So but this is where the golf and stuff water slide was. You can see most things are still here. Fifty years of family fun. See the clock right there. And then there it is right there. When you're thinking about swimming, don't bring your bathing suit, there is no swimming. You do that at the uh, hotel where they film vacation. Look at this golf and stuff. Speedy right there, original McDonald's mascot. It's before Ronald. All right, here we are. This is supposed to be the McDonald's Museum. And uh, I don't know if we're supposed to see this. Probably we'll find out. McDonald's Museum. Wow, look at all this cool stuff. Original, original multi mixer fake machines. Special sauce and shakies. Special sauce. Special sauce. You guys know this character because this was super controversial and it's gone now. Moon man, no longer, uh, no longer Company ever to go public. Stock was issued at $22.50 a share. Within weeks, hey, Ronald. It climbed to $49 a share. Making great product and instant multi millionaire. How exciting to be at the uh, oldest McDonald's here in Downey. Look at these old 
Wall of a Ray Croft Hall right here in front of the women's room. Beautiful. Ray Croft would be so honored. Look at that. Old school. Wow. I believe one of these is Willard Scott. Wow, look at these old cups. I had some of those cups. Some of the between my parents and they had everything. It was it was working. Another one of the old shake multi mixers. This time, Ray was proud. Within a year, Look at this. Divorced their spouses. 1960s menu tickets were used. Roll orders rung up on a Sweden or a Sweden. Cash register. I'm not sure it's the guy from the boat. The McDLT. Boy, the McDLT was ridiculous. I remember this, though. They had a styrofoam container, and as they say, they found a way to keep the lettuce tomato cool with a quarter pounder beef hot. And so they, they would separate it into this ridiculous container. If you guys are watching, you remember the McDLT. You can keep the cool on one side, the hot on the other side, and then you can combine it. Obviously, it didn't last very long. Yeah. Look at these all. It's cool to see these uh, old McDonald's land characters. There is Mayor McCheese, which uh, some people would say is a ripoff of H.R. Puffins. Donald Land may have stole their act from the uh, Sigma Micro. I think we're going to lock in here. I think we're going to spend the night. It's fine with me. I'm at home in uh, McDonald's. Museum. Cool. Famous Norms. Norms menu. Okay, so it's the next day, and this is the Ramada Plaza Hotel, and this is where we were staying. This was built on the land that used to be the Tropicana Hotel, where all my favorite bands stayed and partied. So, famous piece of land. Thought we'd show you just a little bit of it. All right, we're here, Rainbow Bar and Bill, 50th anniversary. Mark Alexander Erber, you've seen him on the show, now you see him in person. Here we are, Los Angeles, here at the Rainbow 50th anniversary. Really excited to see Stephen Pearcey play, Steel Panther play, a lot of bands. So super cool, man, seeing this bloke for the first time in real life. He's a person, and he's taller than I thought as well, because I only ever see you sitting down. I was going to say the same, but you don't know what people look like in person, height-wise. That's it, man. So no, excited to be here. Beautiful day. This place is shit. So I reckon another hour and it's shut down and there's more room for us. Yes, I think so. It's a legend. Uh, let me hold the stage. It's pretty crazy here. You can see. Line's still going around the corner.
wanted to see him last time he was on the phone. Here he is. What's up, people? How you doing? Did you hear the interview? Blah, 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 and fuck, 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 and pussy, 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 and we're the greatest band in the world. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. But we had fun, and we're still doing it. So. Thank you. People loved it. Two, almost 3,000 views in 24 hours. Now, I just wanted to make myself clear when I was talking about how good we were. I didn't think we were the greatest musicians in the world. Barney's Beanery, legendary uh, spot. Allegedly, Janis Joplin was partying here uh, on the night of her death, last place she went to. And, of course, Jim Morrison may or may not have urinated on the bar in this very spot. studio, offices of the doors. This is a famous uh, staircase and area and you can see it in some of the old historic photos which I'll share. So I had a little time to kill. I made my flight later. They actually gave me 
points back for making my flight later on Southwest. It gave me 2,000 points if I would take a later flight. So I decided I would do that. And, uh, and since I was staying right over there, uh, Ramada, formerly Trouble Canada, I thought I'd come across the street and visit the Doors workshop uh, where Doors were just recorded and they had their offices. And so what a great way to spend the off day. Most guys would be at home sitting around. Not me. I'll fly back to Vegas tonight. And when I get back to Vegas, I'm there until Thursday. And then Thursday, we start uh, Stephen Piercy shows in Buffalo, Syracuse, and uh, Massachusetts. Then I'm home for a little while. Then off to Utah. And after Utah, we're going to um, M3 in Maryland. I've done this walk. Feels like uh, 500 times. Maybe a thousand times. Burbank Airport. Bob Hope International. Maybe it's not international, I don't know. Having a bad fair night. Anyway, it's about 9 p.m. Heading back to Las Vegas. Rest for a couple days. And then head east. Please stow your carry on item under the seat in front of you. We're coming here to Kevin if you have anything English to dispose of or anything you just do not want you to take off the aircraft and into the center aisle as you make way through. Comes to an end. Uh, I think it's uh, close to 11 p.m. Back at uh, what I call McCarran Airport. I think now they call it Harry Reams Airport, but uh, I don't like to be particular. And I'm not really a fan of change. Anyway, uh, it's been a wonderful trip. Hopefully, you guys enjoy seeing all the uh, fun things.